So the tenacity study is a study that um, is exclusively in triple negative uh, breast cancer patients. Um, and it's a first line study looking at patients who uh, will be randomized to one of three arms. And the treatment arms, we're looking to really evaluate the role of abraxane that has had increasing um, signal of activity really in the triple negative patient population. And so one of the standards um, that has been developed just because a lot of patients have seen anthracyclines and taxanes in the adjuvant setting um, was from a trial uh, with aniparib, was gem, uh, cytobine, and carboplatinum. So that was one of the um, control arms or a non-taxane containing arm. And then we had the doublet of gem cytobine and abraxane and carboplatinum and abraxane. And so those were compared in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one fashion. Um, and I think it's a, it's a really an exciting study because there's such a role for doublet therapy, I think, particularly in the triple negative population. There's a lot of controversy between sequential single agent or doublet therapy, but I think in the triple negative population, really looking at um, a need for responses in those patients because of their aggressive relapses that are very symptomatic, they occur with a short disease-free interval, um, they usually are pretty uh, scattered throughout the body so that we have both viscera, soft tissue involvement. Um, so it is a circumstance that I, as, as many other investigators, do think of a doublet therapy. Um, and when that comes to mind, we still have the taxanes as a very active agent in cytotoxic chemotherapy for the triple negative population. Um, from other previous trials, we really saw a signal for a braxane in the triple negative population. And so the study is really looking at the partner of abraxane, whether it's going to be carboplatinum or gemcitabine, or the non-taxane doublet of gemcitabine and carboplatinum.